performance gap between black and white students still persists, and, and the outcomes continue to show that students in more affluent schools care better than students in low income schools. These discrepancies in achievement did not start with the pandemic. This data is typical for DCPS. Thanks to a bill passed by the council, DCPS has started to provide professional development for all teachers in K-2 on recognizing reading difficulties and instruction and intervention that are aligned to a science-based reading program. That is a good start, but the situation demands a more urgent response. Let's limit class size in low-income schools. Smaller class sizes will benefit students by giving teachers more time to build relationships and to work with students individually. High-dose tutoring is another effective strategy to improve literacy skills as long as it is implemented properly and with fidelity. The tutors need to be certified teachers working with small groups of students outside regular classes. The, ten, the pandemic has highlighted the need to address the mental health issues that plague our students. Many students have experienced potentially traumatic, traumatic events, of violence, abuse, neglect. These experiences have been magnified by the pandemic. There needs to be as much focus on a child's mental and emotional state as their academic performance. The CDC states that the single most important thing the school can do is to create a caring, safe environment that supports students and is sensitive to the complex dynamic, dynamics of life that might be fueling childhood trauma. Providing a safe environment starts with the physical school facility. Stop excessive testing. This only adds to student and teacher stress. I urge the council to pass the Students' Right to Read Amendment Act of 2021. Librarians provide a variety of literacy opportunities. They have resources and skills that benefit students and enrich teaching. Every student deserves to have the benefit and resource of a library and librarian at their school. In short, students don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Students need to feel they belong, are seen, and acknowledged. It is not just about feeling good. It's a direct determinant of academic achievement. Thank you for allowing me to testify. Thank you, Ms. Bell.